Hello all, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to drop the all the created tables using PLSQL block. So this is my SQL prompt and I have so many tables. For example, if you write the query here, select star from tab, then there are 16 tables. Now I want to drop all this 16 tables using the PLSQL block. So how we can do this? Let's see practically. So first of all, you can just move to your editor. So I'm writing here the block that is declare, begin and end. Now here in declare, you can write the cursor. So I'm just writing the cursor that is declare cursor. C1 is select T name from tab. So this T name is the column that is available in the table tab. See here, the T name is the column which contains the name of the tables. Now I want to retrieve all this. So here you can just write the loop that is for I in C1. You can just write the loop and and loop. Here you can just print the string like this that is dbms underscore output dot put underscore line and here you can simply write that is a drop table and I just want to concatenate the string so i'm writing here i dot that is the name of the table so what it will do it will retrieve the one by one table name from the table table and it will simply concatenate with this string that is a drop table table name now i want to print this so whenever you want to run this script before that you just need to set the server output on over here so you can simply write here set server output on now here you can just copy this script and you can paste over here and you can press enter so see here i'm getting the string that is drop table customer drop table departments but i want to execute this right now what happened it is just a string so if you write the query here select star from tab then the table will not be dropped now i want to drop the table so very simple here we can declare the variable and that is for example ssql and type is where care with the size that is for example 500 now i am writing here and that is what that is ssql is equal to drop table and here you can write i dot t name now here you can just pass your ssql so what happened this ssql will print the value that is drop table table name but once again it will not drop the table so to execute the same you can just use here that is execute immediate and you can pass your ssql but what it will do it will simply execute all the sql statements but there is one problem if there is a link between the primary key and foreign key then it will not allow you to drop the primary key table so for that we need to just write here and that is what that is concatenate and here you can write that is cascade constraints now it will simply cascade the constraints and it will allow you to drop the primary key table also and here you can just write the purge so the data will not be stored into the recycle bin now you can simply check that this command is working properly or not so you can simply copy this and you can paste over here so see here i am getting the string that is drop table customer cascade constraints and purge so this is the valid drop table statement but it will not execute the statement so what happen whenever you write select star from tab the table will not be dropped but if you execute this so if you remove this command and if you copy this now you can paste over here now it will drop all the tables and you can check select star from tab there is no record selected so this is the way you can drop the created tables in oracle so that's it from my side if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you very much have a nice day